Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about guide and cost to craft blue grade Panoxion gear and enhance it until plus 10. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, at least after 15 weeks waiting to craft this new ship Panoxion, because when you crafting this Panoxion ship, there are some time get to get this Panoxion design, that we only can get this Panoxion design two pieces each week. And more detail how to craft this Panoxion, I already guide you previously on special video that I guide you very detail how to craft this Panoxion ship. And also in this video, I share some build for this Panoxion ship that you can customize it depend on your needs. So if you want to craft this Panoxion ship, you can check on this video. And right now, after I get this ship license for Panoxion, I just need to register this ship license to any Warf Manager NPC and give name for this Panoxion. And you will see this conversation between Mr. Turt and Miss Mew on your screen. And when you register this Panoxion on your Warf, server when you locate it will announce that you just access to craft this Panoxion ship so everyone can know about this information. And when I test this Panoxion ship, actually this is very unique ship because when your character ride this ship, your character as captain for this ship will ride this ship like you drive some waff instead of ship. And this is basic stat for this Panoxion ship without any gear. And for sure when you ride this Panoxion, this Panoxion ship will add more status from your character sailing mastery. And also you can boost this Panoxion stat using any kind of Panoxion gear. And also you can equip it using Sea Crystal or Eben Root Null on this special slot. But when I record this video, Panoxion still didn't have any outfit. And I think same as Karak, I'm sure in future Prebis will add some special outfit for Panoxion ship like they do on Karak. And when you shooting this Panoxion ship, it shoot will throw main bullet of your cannon. So this is nearly same like Karak ship. But the different thing for this Panoxion skill, you can press X to use its special melee skill to do flame tower. And don't worry when you doing this flame tower, even this skill is melee skill that will attack any target in front of your Panoxion ship. Your Panoxion ship will not get any damage from this skill recoil like you use ram skill to hit any target in melee range. And damage for this flame tower is very large because you can use it over time continuously. But take notice you only can do one skill at one time because you cannot do shooting cannon when flame tower is active. And also when one of your side cannon is reloading, you also cannot use this flame tower. And another combination for this flame tower, you also can press backward X to shoot this flame tower while your ship moving backward so you can control your distance from your ship to your target to keep in front of your ship and another speciality for this Panoxion ship this Panoxion have very large cabin that have 150 slot and you can put more sailor on this Panoxion ship and this sailor become key to build your Panoxion depend on your needs that some build for this Panoxion, I already share it on my previous video about how to craft this Panoxion ship. And same as Karak ship, you can craft this Panoxion gear until blue grade that you can enhance it until plus 10 all of them. And in this video, I will focus my experience crafting this blue gear Panoxion and I will show you how much cost that you need to prepare to craft this blue gear Panoxion and also some recommendation file stack that I can recommend to enhance your Panoxion gear either from green grade until blue grade plus 10. Okay, first to get green grade Panoxion, you just need to go to any Crocoin vendor that located on three location, either Lema Island, Cronus Island, or Aquila A Island. And for example, I will show you on Aquila A Island that you can find this NPC, Livenia. And if you go to its craft shop, you can find these four pieces green grade gear Panoxion either for cannon, sail, figure head, and plating. And all this green grade Panoxion gear, each piece have price 10,000 crow coin. So total you need to spend 40,000 crow coin 
to get this green great panoxeon gear and when I record this video, there are no other way to get this green great panoxeon gear other than you need to buy it directly from any crocoin vendor NPC. So you need 40,000 crocoin to purchase all of them at once. And then to enhance this green great panoxeon from plus zero until plus five, you need this special blackstone, solar blackstone, that you can craft it by hitting 10 pieces fiery blackstone and one piece starlight crystal. And about any material to craft this special blackstone, either fiery blackstone, frosted blackstone, starlight crystal, and etc., you also can procast it from crocoin vendor NPC. And you also can get this fiery blackstone and frosted blackstone from any sea monster that you defeat, but drop for this enhanced material is very rare. So I very recommend you to get them by procasting it using crow coin. And it's solar blackstone. If you procast all of them, this is will cost you around 200 crow coin because you need to procast fiery blackstone 10 pieces and also star like crystal 1 piece to craft 1 piece solar blackstone. And you can craft it by hitting all this material. And to enhance this green great panoxeon, same as you enhancing any gear on Black Desert Online. And don't worry, your enhancement level will not drop if you fail when you enhancing this panoxeon gear, either green great or blue great. But as I already mentioned previously, this solar blackstone, you only can use it to enhance this green great panoxeon just until plus 5. Because more than plus 5, you need another blackstone called Lunar Blackstone. And to craft this Lunar Blackstone, you need 10 pieces Frosted Blackstone and also Starlight Crystal that you can hitting all this material to get this Lunar Blackstone. And same as before, to use this Lunar Blackstone, you can do enhancing like normal. And you can use False Stack to get more enhancement chance to success. And this is table for False Stack recommendation from me. To enhance this green great panoxeon, either to go to plus 1 until plus 10. And as you can see on this list, actually to enhance this green great panoxeon gear is not too hard because you just need low file stack to enhance this green great panoxeon gear. But file stack recommendation that I show you on this list, this is any recommendation to get success chance above 50%. But this is just my recommendation, and for sure, if you feel lucky, you also can enhance it using your own file stack if you feel you lucky enough to get success to enhance this gear. But be careful if you using low file stack, for your sure chance to success is too low and will make you cost more crocoin to enhance this gear. So to minimize your loss when enhancing this gear, I very recommend you to use this number of file stack that I show you on this list. And after you get all your green great panoxeon plus 10, in my experience enhance this green great panoxeon, it cost me 29 solar blackstone and also 39 lunar blackstone. But take notice number solar and lunar blackstone for sure will different depend on your luck and also number of file stack that you use. And then after you get this green great panoxeon gear, if you want to craft blue gear panoxeon, you can craft Blue Gear Panoxeon from special workshop at Nampo Model Village, especially at house number 2. And this house you can rent it to become your Yeship Park Workshop that you can craft any kind of Blue Gear Panoxeon. But to craft this Blue Gear Panoxeon, for sure you need another material to craft it like any kind of blueprint. This is special blueprint that you can get this special blueprint by doing excavation on Dalai Pierre that located on this area on map near Nopse Biot County at land of the morning light. And to unlock this note, make sure you go to this area and then talk to note manager on this area to unlock this sub note that you can send your worker to do excavation on this note. And this is the only note that you need to send your worker to get all this blueprint. So to get this blueprint also cost time, but in my experience, when you waiting to get Panoxion design that will cost you 15 weeks, you can send your worker to work on this Dalai Pierre quarry and 15 weeks is more than enough to get all type of this blueprint 10 pieces for its type. As you can see actually when I record this video, I send this worker less than 15 weeks because when I record this video, update for Blue Gear Panoxion just come not at the same time when this Panoxion ship is released. And number of blueprint that I got is more than enough 
within 15 weeks. And I very recommend you to use Artisan Dokebi Worker to work on this note because Dokebi Worker is the fastest worker from Land of the Morning Light. Okay, another material that you need is fine polished pine plywood, 50 pieces for each part. And you can get this fine polished pine plywood by exchange Sang Peon Coin 10 pieces from NPC Yoan, Wharf Manager at Nampo Moodle Village that located on this area on map at Nampo Moodle Village. And because it's part need 50 pieces, this fine polished pine plywood, if you want to craft all of them, for sure you need 200 pieces, this fine polished pine plywood. So this is mean you need 2000 pieces some peon coin to exchange it to your NPC to get this material. And then another material is wave residue adhesive. Actually this item you also can get it directly by purchasing from Crocoin vendor. As you can see this is the item wave residue adhesive that will cost you 350 crocoin for each piece and you need 50 pieces for this wave residue adhesive to craft each part of this blue gear panoxeon so in total you need 200 pieces for this item but take notice you also can craft this wave residue adhesive by simple alchemy this violent sea monster os that you can get this violent sea monster os from defeating any monster on saltwater crocodile or on Lake Rasan area and you need another material Starlight Emulsifer that this item you only can get it by purchasing from Crocoin Vendor and as you can see this is the item Starlight Emulsifer from Crocoin Vendor that will cost you 250 Crocoin for its piece so by crafting it you will reduce consumption for Crocoin and to craft all this material you just need to simple alchemy both of this item and start processing and after quite a while you will get this wave residue adhesive and if you purchase it directly for 4 part blue gear panoxeon this is will cost you 70,000 crocoin but if you craft it cost to get this item will reduce to become 50,000 crocoin only and the next material is delicate polish support same as wave residue adhesive to craft this delicate polish support have same way as wave residue adhesive that you can purchase this material directly from Crocoin vendor. As you can see, this is the item that will cost you 350 Crocoin for each piece. And another way to get this delicate poly support, you also can craft it using Violent Sea Monster Bone that you also can get this item from Saltwater Crocodile or Lake Rasan Monster Zone. And another material that you need to craft this item is Starlight Hardener that this item you only can purchase it from Crocoin vendor for 250 Crocoin each piece. So this is nearly same like previous material and reduction cost to craft 4 pieces Blue Gear Panoxeon same as previous material. If you purchase this delicate poly support directly, this is will cost you 70,000 Crocoin but if you craft it, this is will cost you only 50,000 Crocoin. And the last material to craft this blue gear panoxeon, you need this special item, panoxeon enhancement part upgrade permit. And the only way to get this item, you only can get it by purchase it from NPC Chulong at Nampo Moodle Village. And as you can see, this is the NPC Chulong that you can go to its shop and purchase this panoxeon enhancement part upgrade permit for 1 billion silver for its piece. So to craft blue gear panoxeon for pieces, you need 4 billion silver to purchase for pieces of this item. And last material for sure, plus 10 green grade panoxeon gear that you already craft previously. So after you get all this material, you just need to put all this material on your city storage. And I very recommend you to put it on Nampo Model Village and using worker from Nampo Model Village to craft this blue gear panoxeon from this workshop and to craft it you just need to open your map and open this workshop at morning light nampo number two and then you just need to click this manage crafting and choose gear that you want to craft and then choose any worker that you want to use if you put any material on nampo model village storage make sure you choose worker from nampo model village and after that you will see any item that you already put on nampo model village storage is ready on this list and then you just need to click start work to start craft this blue gear panoxeon. And you also can use complete now function that will cost you sample. But I didn't recommend you because to craft it, this is very fast. 
and just do the same thing for any other part of Panoxion gear to craft four pieces part of this Panoxion gear. Okay, after you get all this blue gear Panoxion, you will get this blue gear at enhancement level plus zero that you can enhance all this blue gear Panoxion until plus 10 using this Sunset Blackstone. But before I show you to enhance this blue gear Panoxion, when I try to equip this blue gear Panoxion on my Panoxion ship, this ship appearance didn't change. So equipping either green grade or blue grade Panoxion will not change your Panoxion appearance. As you can see when I unequip this blue gear, this appearance for this Panoxion still same. Okay, now let's enhance this blue gear Panoxion. And as I already mentioned previously, to craft this blue gear Panoxion, you need this Sunset Blackstone. And to craft this Sunset Blackstone, you need Solar Blackstone and Lunar Blackstone, each of them one piece, and also Starlight Powder, 10 pieces. About Solar and Lunar Blackstone, actually this is material to enhance Green Grid Karak or Panoxion that I already show you previously. But about this Starlight Powder, this is special material that you can get it from worker work when you send your worker on excavation node to get this blueprint. As you can see on this Dale Pierre, this excavation node will give you starlight powder. And this starlight powder actually old item, same material that you also can get it from any other excavation node to get any kind of blueprint blue gear karak like on Alnaha Island, Ranchit Island, Timbra Island, and Lerao Island. And after you get all this material, either Solar Blackstone, Lunar Blackstone, and Starlight Powder, to craft this Sunset Blackstone, you need to craft it using your worker on Ship Part Workshop. As you can see on this workshop, at Nampo Model Village, number 2, you also can craft this Sunset Blackstone on this workshop. And because this Sunset Blackstone actually is old item, same Blackstone that you need to enhance Blue Gear Karak, you also can craft this Sunset Blackstone from Special Workshop at Ilya Island. If you check on Ilya Island and go to this house, Ilya Island House number 3, and if you rent this house, specially to make this warehouse to become Chiro Ship Park Workshop, you also can craft this Sunset Blackstone on Ilya Island. And for sure, you need a lot of Sunset Blackstone to enhance Blue Gear Karak or Panoxeon. Because to enhance this blue gear Panoxeon and blue gear Karak is not easy. And as you can see on this clip, I already prepared 324 Sunset Blackstone to enhance 4 piece for this blue gear Panoxeon. And when enhance this blue gear Panoxeon, as you can see from plus 0 to plus 1, if you're using 0 file stack, this success rate only 10%. But take notice because I have permanent current enhancement chance plus 3, so to go to plus 1, I have 13% chance to success. And same as Blue Gear Karak, on Blue Gear Panoxeon, you also can do Force Enhance that will cost you more Sunset Blackstone. But I didn't recommend you to use this for Enhance method because this is will cost you so much Sunset Blackstone. And the more Blackstone that you need, the more Crocoin that you need to, to get this Sunset Blackstone. So I very recommend you to enhance this Blue Gear Panoxeon using normal method by using Hike File Stack. And this is some list file stack recommendation from plus 0 to plus 10 for this Blue Gear Panoxeon. And you also can use this file stack recommendation to enhance Blue Gear Karak because enhancement chance either Blue Gear Karak and Blue Gear Panoxeon is nearly same. And take notice to go to plus 9 and plus 10. This is already too hard, so I just recommend you to use 100 file stack and use maximum file sky that you can use on your account. And I very recommend you to finish Herald Journal until book 4 that I got you how to finish this Herald Journal, especially on book 4 on this video. To unlock plus 3 maximum Falks enhancement that you can use for your account. And if you need more Sunset Blackstone, you can finish special side quest, mysterious painting questline, specially for number 3 that I got you on this special video for this mysterious painting questline 3, a faded drawing of multiple humanoid figures. And reward from this questline, you will get 2 pieces solar blackstone and 2 pieces lunar blackstone, and at the end you will get 1 piece sunset blackstone. And also on mysterious painting number 4, you also can get some crow coin from this special questline. And once again about this false stack recommendation to enhance Blue Gear Panoxion 
Actually, this is just a recommendation from my experience enhancing Blue Gear Karak and Blue Gear Panoxeon previously. And if you didn't want to follow this recommendation, this is up to you. But I just remind you, the less success chance that you have, the more Sunset Blackstone that you need to success to enhance your Blue Gear Panoxeon or Blue Gear Karak. But once again, if you feel very lucky, you can use lower fall stack than my recommendation. But once again, I remind you, to get the Sunset Blackstone, this is will cost you Crow Coin and also cost you time to craft the Sunset Blackstone. So number of this fall stack, just my recommendation from my experience. And this is summary total cost when I craft this Panoxion gear from procasing green grade, enhancing it until plus 10, and crafting blue grade, and then enhancing it again until plus 10. So in my experience, this is cost me 266,100 pro coin, and also 4 billion silver to procase its permit, and 2,000 sangpeon coin. And this is list for number of all stack that I use to enhance this Panoxion gear from plus 0 green grade until plus 10 blue grade, and also number of fox cry that I use from this process. And total, I use 181 memory fragment and 177 artisan memory when enhancing this blue gear panoxion but take notice number of memory fragment and artisan memory that i use i only use it when enhancing blue gear panoxion from plus zero until plus ten and i didn't repair maximum durability when enhancing green grid panoxion because without maximum durability you can use your plus ten green grid panoxion as material to craft blue gear panoxion and when i test this blue gear panoxion using my sailor character and i use most of my sailor that mostly innocent sailor but i also use any other sailor on this panoxion and i feel satisfied for my panoxion build because if you build this panoxion as speedboat build and also using abandoned null this panoxion ship speed can compete with fastest karak volante and damage for this Panoxion ship actually nearly same as Karak, but for sure this Panoxion ship have special ability for its flame tower that makes this ship more flexible in combat, especially for melee range. Okay, that's all guide about to craft this Panoxion gear from green grade until blue grade plus 10. And if you need some guide to farming crow coin, I also give you some tips and trick to farming crow coin when you doing sailing that I got you on this video when I show you my method to get this Eben Root Null by purchasing it using 2 million crow coin. And actually right now, to farming crow coin is far more easy because per abyss or debuff, number to get this crow coin and also reduce difficulty to finish any quest for selling content. So you can get more crow coin more faster than before. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Snot, Soren, Alt, Afrilka, Elfamilia, Drunken Video, Jeff, S. Gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all how to craft Blue Gear Panoxeon until plus 10. Hope all this information can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.